Dear friends, this is my tutorial 49 iPhone 4. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn the Mullikan population analysis using that Gaussian zero name software. So here we are going to use this formaldehyde as a test molecule for this Mullikan population analysis. So we, before going to do this Mullikan population analysis, we should optimize our formaldehyde first. So for that, we need to create our formaldehyde molecule using gas view. So just open your uh, gas view software. And uh, click this uh, C6, the element fragment. Just you can click, you can see different kind of things. So B and C here. So we want to only see. See here, you can see different kind of thing. Just click this C. So just uh, click that one, then click to this uh, mole view. So here you can see C, uh, H, C double bond, and H is there. So now we're going to add one more O atom into that uh, near double bond. So for that, just to click this uh, C fragment, and you can click O atom. And you can uh, so here you can see different kind of O fragment is there. Just you click on O atom and click into this one. So if you want to just you can minimize this uh, just this bond line. Just you can uh, click this this one and it will just you can just that bond if you have a long bond length kind of things. So now we can save this molecule as a uh, JGF file. So we need a Cartesian coordinate to optimize this molecule. For that, what you have to do, just you can uh, go to file and you click save. So create one uh, folder. So already I created Mullikan population analysis. Just you can, uh, so MPA, just I can make MPA folder, Mullikan population analysis. Or we can uh, rename it into the CH2O, the name of the system for multicate. So first you have to do optimization just i mentioned just opt so here also ch2 opt so that's all we have created uh, saved our cartesian coordinate of this formal d molecule so now we have to optimize this formal d molecule using gaussian so you can you open your uh, gauss Zero nine. So we will see our uh, the saved input file. So go to your corresponding folder. So this is the CH two O. What we created this is the Cartesian coordinate of that uh, for multicate uh, molecule. So we are going to use this uh, Cartesian coordinate to optimize the for multicate molecule. So for that, what you have to do? Just you can uh, go to open this uh, Gaussian 09, uh, go to file, click open. So I already did several calculations, so I have some uh, format of input file. So just I can open that one. So just I will open uh, some files. So if you have some file, just open it and edit it and uh, do your geometry optimization. So this is actually CH2 for multicate molecule so here you have to mention the memory and n for share so this is enough if you are using this uh, linux version these two things will change so you have to check here check it okay so then you have to mention that theory which theory you are going to use and which basis set you are going to use so here i am going to use only this theory and basis set because only that organic molecule if you have transition metal atom you have to use a different kind of basis set and a basis set for metal atom so then i mentioned opt optimization and frequency just we need to do then we are here you have to change that the name of the system ch2 o ch2 o so that uh, charge of this uh, um, formal ligand molecule is uh, zero and spill multiplicity is one the, so this is that uh, old one Cartesian coordinate just you can delete it and uh, go to your uh, folder you can get your ch2o uh, Cartesian coordinates so just you can right click and copy so paste it 
after pressing this you can give some enter if um, you have to give then only the system detect this input file is end so that's all so now we are going to save this file and then we will run the geometry optimization for that first you go to file save job as So go to that folder just you can uh, rename it because if you save that will replace this old file so for that you just you want to put underscore one so that's all then you can click run so now it will ask to where to save so just you can uh, go to your corresponding uh, folder molecular analysis folder so so ch2 optimization we're going to save that output file here yes the calculation is finished so here you can see normal termination of gaussian 09 so that means our calculation finished without any error so now we can, we can see this uh, output file using gauss view uh, to see the vibrational frequency for that just open your uh, gauss view just close it distance so just you can this is that optimized formal divide just you can uh, drag this file into here so this is that a uh, formal ligate molecule so if you want to see that vibration frequency just to go to result and just uh, here you can see vibration just click it so here you can see there is no negative frequency that means our system are fully optimized so if you want to see the vibration frequency just you can uh, just click start animation you can see uh, a different kind of uh, vibration of this molecule so here you can see just click 3 4 and 5 you will see different kind of vibration if you don't want just you can stop it so you can close it so now we are going to save this uh, optimized Cartesian coordinate for further uh, Mullican population analysis so for that you go to file save So Mullican population analysis just I will write MPA so just you can save as a GJF so that's all we saved our optimized Cartesian coordinate for our Mullican population analysis for that what you have to do now we are going to change this uh, old input file for uh, Mullican population analysis just to go to file here you can uh, modify so if you want to open your that file also you can open so that will take time just you can we can modify easily uh, using that old calculation uh, setup so here you just you can uh, click Mullican population analysis so here also you can change Mullican population analysis so here also what you have to do here copy equal to f u l full you have to type so then you have to change this cartesian coordinate this is that uh, old cartesian coordinate so we have to use optimized one in order to get our mullican population analysis for that what you have to do go to your uh, mullican population folder here so this is the optimized cartesian coordinate so just you can copy just select and right click it and copy so paste it into that uh, software so here this is that optimized cartesian coordinate of this for multicate so that's all so uh, the charge and multiplicity are same so here you have to remove the top frequency put this keyword this is actually single point calculation so now just to go to file we can save this one and go to that mpf folder Mullican population analysis just you can save that input file then click this uh, run file run button then it will ask where to save mm, just to go to that corresponding folder and Mullican population analysis so 
now that will go to this uh, that the output file will save here just you can save the calculation will done automatically so that the molecular population analysis also completed so one more things i want to tell you so if you want to know more about this molecular population analysis just visit this page and you can uh, find your uh, uh, molecular population analysis that how to do this kind of things so if you do not understand just you can read it So now we will see that uh, molecular population analysis of this formaldehyde molecule. So for that, what you have to do, just to go to molecular population analysis folder, MPA. So just this that output file, just to click it. So go down. So here you can see molecular atomic charges. So this is the molecular atomic charges. The carbon atom possesses 0.08. So hydrogen 0.12 and H 0.12. This oxygen atom carries that negative charge. So minus 0.32. So this is the uh, molecular population analysis. So you can watch this video for to do the molecular population analysis for research purpose so if you like my video please like comment and subscribe and share to your friends thank you thank you for watching enjoy